Okay, we're looking at compound measures. Now, compound measures, like compound shapes and measures have been shoved together. Compound shapes are like one big shape made up of lots of little shapes, isn't it? So there we go. So compound measures like speed, which is the first one. So speed equals distance over time. You should know that. You might have seen it as a triangle. Speed equals distance over time. You might not have done. Okay, but there you go. So distance is uh, 170 kilometers in. Now, don't put 3.25, okay? There's not 100 minutes in an hour, so I would convert everything to minutes. Now, three hours is 180 minutes plus the 25, is 205, okay? And then that will give you, all right, kilometers per minute, and we want to know how far you go in an hour. There's 60 minutes in an hour, isn't there? If I do 170 Oops, I'm turn my calculator on. There you go. 170 over 205 times 60. Okay, and I end up with, and it says to one decimal place, 49.8 kilometers per hour. Okay, so make sure you round um, to what they want to do. Um, make sure you convert to minutes. All right, that's really actually quite important. Now, next one is density, and I'll draw the little, you might have seen this in science, density equals mass over volume. Okay, you might not have seen it, you might have just seen it, density equals mass over volume. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got the density, so we've got 7.2 equals uh, the mass, which is 25.2 over the volume. Now we've got to rearrange that. We're going to multiply by V and divide by 7.2 and so I should end up with this. Now using the um, using the triangle you cover up the one you're trying to find. So you'd be covering up, I'll do it in a different colour, you'd be covering up this one. Alright, so you colour that and it's mass divided by density. And so stick that in your calculator. It's not always a nice number, but it shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Ah, there you go, three and a half. Three and a half, now it says volume, centimetres cubed, centimetres cubed. Okay, so there are two formula you really need to know and remember. It's the speed one here and the density one here. Okay, once you've got that, pretty straightforward. There are a couple of other compound measures that sometimes come up, but they are the most common.